You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a radio personality, former radio personality, a kind of current one still, on TV, Peter Zimber. Peter, welcome. Jack of all trades, master of none. Thank Good you. Good to see you. Well, your new trade is Director of Communications and BCA Liaison in the Office of Mayor Bill Carpenter. Yes, that is uh, my new title, and uh, it feels good to have the latter half of that be part of it, Liaison to BCA. I started working here at BCA as a teenager. I think I was involved even before I was a teenager at some point, so mm -hmm. it's really nice to be working with you guys again. It, it feels like home. Well, same here, and uh, we wish you well. We brought Newby on when he transitioned from BCA over to the new mayor's office, and now he's going to be a teacher which is really exciting. You've been a teacher and you go to the mayor's office, so you flip it around. Yeah, we're flipping everything around. The way I like to look at it, people say I got big shoes to fill being the director of communications coming in after newbie. I like to say, well, Joe Montana won some Super Bowls and went to the Hall of Fame, but then Steve Young came after him and did the same exact thing. So I, I hope to be the Steve Young as far as director of communications. Well, are there concerned. you go. Sports analogies. I like it. Over my <laughs> head because I don't know a damn thing about sports, but that's okay. Um, one of the things I, uh, we were able to do really well with Newbie is collaborate on different things, okay? The mayor's office puts out a lot of events. There's flag days for every country on the planet that all the folks live in Brockton now. Um, there's um, different festivals, different events. What do you see your new role as, um, as, as director of communications? I know you just started, you just getting your, you're in your first Day couple four of on days. The job, Day four when we're <laughs> taping this. So how do you see your role and what's the vision from the office that they've communicated to you? Well, my vision for the job right now is to maintain what Newby has been doing in terms of relationships he has with certain people within the city and collaborating and working with them, whether it be uh, stuff with you guys here at Brock and Community Access or the various events throughout the city. You mentioned there's a flag day for almost every country on earth here in Brockton. There's a lot more as well. I want to do that, and then I want to add my own twist to it. It's funny. Newby and I were just talking yesterday, and this is something that I understand, he understands, you'll understand. People watching might not understand this. We're talking about the TV show Shoe City Scoop that is uh, produced out of the mayor's office that Newby edits. And recently I edited my first episode of Shoe City Scoop. There are intricacies within the episode of my editing style that are different from newbies. Mm -hmm. No one watching it's ever going to know. I know, he knows, you'll know, yep. but no one's ever going to say, oh, it's a different transition. No one cares. Well, so everybody, everybody's got a different style. Yeah. And uh, what, what I find very interesting is, um, you know, where newbie was a documentary style kind of single camera format, um, you've, done, you've done multimedia. You haven't just done TV, you've done radio. You've also been an announcer, similar to the mayor, on boxing and well, stuff well, like that. Let's talk about this real quick. It's interesting because me and Newby were laughing about this this morning. Newby is actually still in the office for another week or so while we transition me into him, his position as he moves on to his new position. And there was a point in time where in the press box at Brockton High School for Brockton High School football, the WXBR radio announcing team was Bill Carpenter, who is now the mayor of Brockton, Bob Buckley, who is now the chief of staff, the play-by-play -play announcer for Brockton Community Access was me. Newbie often had a role in color commentary along with Miles Jackson, who still does a lot of stuff here at BCA. And the PA announcer was a guy named Gary Leonard, who's now the Main Street Planner. We're like, how did all of this happen? The entire press box is involved in Brockton at this point. Who would have thunk it no, to I, use bad grammar at yes. this point in time? So um, now, does Newbie told you about the winter weather and what your role might be in that? The biggest advice I've gotten in regards to role in winter weather is apparently newbie would eat food and make a mess in the truck of the guy from the Department of Public Works who would drive him around, and I've been told to be a little bit neater with my food if I eat in his car. Okay. Now, uh, your family's very involved in the city. They've been involved in kids' road races for a year. Your father's a teacher. He. Uh, Someone asked me yesterday, said, are you a lifelong resident? And I said, pretty much. Outside of living in New Hampshire and Falmouth at a time when I was an infant that I don't recall, I've lived here my entire life. So how did what you've done in your life prepare you for this job? How has what I've done in this life prepared me for this job? Well, I think most of what I'll be doing is dealing with the media. Certainly very comfortable with that based on my past experiences at WXBR here at BCA and a number of other places outside of Brockton as well. And it seems like there's a lot of event planning and coordination as well uh, with the various flag days, as you mentioned, different community events, the summer concert series, which will be taking place after this taping tonight at City Hall Plaza. And producing television is essentially planning an event. And I've actually produced my own events and promoted my own events, uh, not for television on their own, just in commercial ventures. So 
I have plenty of experience and I think everything that's been thrown at me thus far. Now, do you think the world of boxing is going to prepare you for the kind of rock and sock and <laughs> politics that goes on in City Hall? Uh, maybe, sure. Okay. You know, you just have to have thick skin. Absolutely. So, um, the, it, it's, a, it's a very interesting job, very interesting role. I've dealt with, oh God, I can't even count them at this point. Since I've dealt with five mayors so far, and each person has had a different what are the director of communications. You dealt with? Units? Started, started with Farwell. Farwell. Who's trying to make a comeback. I just saw him yesterday. Started with Farwell. Units, Harrington, it's my first Bell's time meeting, Audi. by the way. Yeah, Bell's Audi, and uh, he was my school committee member for 10 years in Ward 1. And then now Mayor Carpenter, five mayors, but each one of them have had a different director of communications. The title's been different. Moses Rodriguez, who's a city councilor now, did communications. Mark Lucas, who was on our board, and he also was the director of communications. Two of the people so far loved BCA so much that they asked to be on the board after they were no longer uh, employed in the mayor's office. That worked out pretty good for us because we had a great relationship for them when they were in there. And I said, Newby, if you don't end up moving out of town because <laughs> you're driving so far away, maybe the mayor will consider you to stay involved with, with cable TV. And he says, I've got to get, get a little teaching under my belt first and then I'll get back to you. But we don't let anybody go here. You know, it's kind of like Hotel California. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave if you really know. I mean, you've been in, you've been in involved in and out. You've been involved in radio. You got up, I mean, the early, I, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you do the 3.30 a.m. I don't have to anymore, thank you. You don't have to because you, you have standard hours, but you don't. Your oh, hours don't. are going to be like all over the place. Oh, I know that. And, and that's fine. I, I, I don't mind putting in the extra hours and putting in the work. It really doesn't bother me. Now, I know you like the social media, too, because when you were on XBR, you did the PM and the AM show yes. with yourself and Mike Pava, and I noticed that a lot of the stuff that you did was on social media besides being on regular terrestrial broadcasts. Oh, our radio show got downloaded over half a million times, heard mostly overwhelmingly by people outside of Brockton, outside of the listing demographic of radio, and that was just more or less... Uh, Mike and myself saying, well, we have a radio station that airs, our show airs 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. every morning, and people can hear it who actually live within the geographic region to hear our radio tower. With all the technology now, why not try to get our names out there a little bit further? And I think we did that. In relation to what I do in City Hall right now, obviously the City of Brockton has a Facebook page, Mayor Bill Carpenter in the city of Brockton have a YouTube channel where you can get Shoe City Scoop if you don't catch it on the weekends here at BCA on Channel 12. So it's just one of those things where we, you and I were talking a little bit before we went on that it's a changing world in terms of media. People don't always uh, sit and wait for something to come on TV right now. You can watch Shoe City Scoop every weekend, 10, 1, 4, and 7, but what if you want to watch it at 3.30? Well, you, you got the YouTube channel. Perfect. Well, Peter, you're going to be a regular here because you get to communicate when nobody else wants to. If, if someone wants to communicate something, so you don't mind doing it, you'll help us be a gatekeeper. And I just want to wish you luck. Oh, thank you so much, Thanks Mark. Thanks for I coming having me. Okay. Uh, you are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.